This is Big Brother. You are reminded that your nominations must be your own choice and must not be influenced by any of the other housemates. Under Big Brother rules, you must give a full, frank, and valid reason for each of your nominations. You will be called to the dye room in alphabetical order. Would Cameron come to the dye room? First nomination this week is John. It seems that whatever topic comes up, um, rather than just get on and follow the rules or do what's told, um, John always seems to have something to say or some complaint to make or some way to get one over in Big Brother rather than just knuckle down and get on with it. My second person that I would like to nominate is Federico and the reason is I don't think he takes the tasks seriously enough I don't think last week in the learning the memory thing for the Cub Scouts, I don't think he was, I mean I know it's in his character to be laid back but I don't think he was um, focused enough on doing the learning I don't know if it was him or no that caused the group to fail I have no idea but my opinion is that he didn't take it seriously enough. <laughs> um, we're doing all right. I reckon the target for today should have been learning the first one without saying the numbers, which we can do, and doing that one with the numbers. So we may even be ahead of schedule by the end of today. Hope so. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Yeah, toes crossed in Scott's case. I thought what was going on, then. Hold on, don't worry about What you're in for. I'm sat there talking about something else. Oh, what are we doing? Would Federico come to the dining room? Do we want to be clapped when we're getting up to do this? Yeah, it's <laughs> not really the right thing, is it? Yeah, not. Probably not. We did it last week as a show of. Yes, yeah. But I think this week, let's just get up, do it and get out. Right. My first nomination this week is Cameron. He's um, a very moral person, but he can be quite prudish and then uh, at times come over a little fatherly or, you know, feel like he, he has the right to tell you to stop saying something or... I think it's just his character, you know, he's a straight-laced person. And, and just another little thing, like like reading the Bible out to, to the rest of the guys. I mean, I know he's not meaning it to, to preach or that, but I don't know. I just Sometimes I feel maybe it's been a little naive to do that sort of thing. Uh, my second nomination is Steph. From a personal point of view, she's the person uh, I least relate to in the house. Uh, she's the person I've talked to the very least in the house. Uh, I really don't really have a lot of conversation with her and also from last week when I said we had uh, she, she, like, um, she referred to me with a name when, when we were having an argument it was just it wasn't even an argument it was a debate and she resorted to name calling and I just remembered that and that's the reason why I've nominated her Eh? 
Do you know what I realised that? Before? <coughs> I don't know what you're saying. Would girls come to the dining room? Oh gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, don't clap, don't clap. It's not clapping, is it? Thank you, Mark. First one. Um. Frederico. Because. I don't know. I can't think of a proper reason. Because he, uh. Well, he seems to be misbehaving too much. Sleeps too much. I don't know. That's the only thing I could really say. Girls, Big Brother understands that nomination is a difficult process. You have, however, chosen to nominate that housemate rather than any of the others. All right. Could you please explain further your reasoning to Big Brother? Um. I don't know. I'm messing around, like, I don't know. Jumping in the pool when he was drunk. Going a bit wild in the party room. That's the that's the real that's the only reasons I can think of really. In what way did that housemate go wild in the party room? Um I don't know chucking things around or stuff like that. <clears throat> then again that's not really misbehaving, is it? It's having a good time. Second one. Sissy. Well, you got a reason for saying that, actually. I don't know. Because she finds it as difficult as me, I suppose, to do this. <clears throat> to deal with Fridays. That's what excuses there. Can we not vote for ourselves? Because the reason you have given is not acceptable. Right. The reason I chose Sissy is because, maybe because it's like me, she's like me, she finds it difficult and sometimes you just want to not do this bit of the Big Brother experience. So if she was not here, she wouldn't have to do it. Oh gosh, he's probably, he's probably, asked, he's probably got the um, St John's ambulance in there. Paramedics. <laughs> 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 we got a banana. <laughs> 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 this is for pleasures. We thought the ambulance better come to take you away. You were in there long. Would John come to the dining room? Come on, John. <laughs> Better pass, I reckon, boss. It'll treat the cheers or. Mm. Your bread will. And the bread. Just eating. Just eating the cheers. Yeah, well, both of these are going to be quite unpopular this week. I think it'll all be tied to a stake and stone or to death when I come out. The first nomination is Sissy. And this is why it's going to be unpopular. Sissy is a vegetarian. And the thing is that she doesn't eat meat or fish or eggs or pasta or corn or a certain type of vegetarian sausage um, we spend money out of the shopping budget to enable her to eat and if we didn't do that then we might have some money for alcohol it's rubbish and that's the reason you're getting do you have any other reason for nominating that housemate what would you like me to say? She's ginger. She's from Liverpool. She's got freckles. I could sit here and say those with a straight face and say that her bubbly, infectious personality is starting to annoy me. None of those things would be true, unfortunately. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? And again, it's an unpopular one, but it's Nush. Um, 
there have been a couple of times this week when I've lost my rag. Um, one of them has been on the discussion that we had uh, about rationing food um, earlier on in the week, and the other has been on the quite ridiculous but thorny subject of using rhythm in order to learn this week's task. In both those instances, my feeling is that Nush shared my point of view um, but wasn't openly supportive. I don't think that's overly constructive for the group to, to hide what your feelings are. Um, and it probably doesn't enable us to progress as a group as much as I, as I would like. I'd love an ice cream. Oh, I'd love an ice cream van just to pull off. Job done. Nush, please could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? John, because he hasn't done any cooking. Nush, that reason is not acceptable and it is one that you used last week. Can't you use the same one twice? Um, <clears throat> I'll do what I said yesterday. Sometimes John has a good point to make, but he doesn't make it in the best way. Like... Say you've got an idea... And you could say, let's try this idea, and I think it's going to work. But it might come out as, if you try it my way, I'll show you that I'm right and you're wrong. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Federico, because I don't think he's done any cleaning. No, the rules state that you must give an honest reason for your nomination. It's an honest reason. <sighs> I think he could be the phantom piddler on the seat. <laughs> the toilet. Nush, do you have any other reason for nominating that housemate? No. I only had one, and that wasn't a proper reason anyway. Well, I don't even know if he does pee on the seat. Who's next? Three Then I've got Yes. Next thing, please, that. Sweating. Now you like that aircon, aircon. <laughs> Is that a long time? Yeah. Everyone's been ages. The same. No, I haven't yet. Right? Would Ray come to the diary room? Oh, bye bye. <laughs> My first nomination is going to be John because he's taking th uh, some things too seriously. Um, for example, yesterday when we were inside the girls' bedroom practicing for the task, he lost the head at everyone when, it, um, when, we, weren't getting, when we weren't getting the, the sequence right 
or the or the rhythm right, and I felt that he went a bit over the top. Second nomination is um, I've decided to pick another bloke. I feel that if another girl goes, um, they're kind of I think they feel they've been picked off one by one, and I don't think it's fair that um, the blokes should be all left last. Um, so my my second nomination is going to be Cameron. I still don't believe he's been himself. Um, <coughs> when he was in the, the reward room on Saturday, I heard that everyone was in there enjoying themselves, fair enough running muck because um, they deserved it, but he was turning around and telling people to stop being rude and or enough, like in other words, stop trying to enjoy yourself, which I thought was a bit much, especially when people have been, everyone's been dying for a good night, a good Saturday night. The comedian guy? I don't know what the name is. Same with the task, isn't it? Is that, that was mm. really cool. Yeah. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Whatever it was. Yeah. 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 Did you get that? So oh, it does say like fruity. Oh, I'm just going to play this <laughs> big one for you. That isn't this. It's like you go out and you think How about <laughs> please and thank you? That isn't strawberry. Occasionally. Yeah, the name of my first nomination um, is going to be Steph because um, I'd still pick out Steph as, as the one person in, in the whole group, really, who I don't feel that I've, I've got to know. Um, I'm not saying that she's... Um, She's you know, living within herself or shielding anything of herself from anybody, but there just isn't, um, there just isn't a, a, a connection between us. Do you have any other reason for nominating that housemate? Um, I feel that if I was on the outside world, I don't think that um, I don't think that I would have met Steph and would be friends with Steph, or you know, would choose Steph to be to be a friend. I think is what I'm saying. My second nomination will be John. Although John has been right, I think, in, in his approach to how things need to be done as regarding the task, his way of going about it has been wrong. Um, he spoke to people like they worked for him, um, like they were under his employee or whatever, and um, I don't think that's the right way to do things in this house. It was because someone's eyelashes teared the wrong way the other day. Steph. Hey. Yeah, the I think we should be singing this to each other, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> looking at? <laughs> <laughs> pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> pressure, pressure's on. Pressure. I know now. Tree, tree. Oh, it was brilliant. Best, enjoy it. Best experience of my life, mate. It was, isn't it? Would yeah. Sissy come to the diary? Yeah. Yeah. I almost think oh, it would. Let's get a couple of rephrasing sessions, yeah. I found it really hard this week, but here goes. Um, Scott, and the reason for this nomination is basically sometimes he can come across a bit bossy. Um, stupid example, um, we had two bottles of cider the other week. He decided with the boys that we should only have one on a certain day and one on another day, but it was actually it was a nomination day and an eviction day, and the person who was nominated really wanted to have the last night with the two bottles of cider, and he sort of emphasised that we, we were only going to have one and didn't bother asking the girls how we felt about it. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Uh, it's Federico. He's in a clique with Ray and um, Scott, but you, you'd expect that because they're mates. But it just seems to be a clique that I don't be able, that I can't really penetrate. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, can you no, it's Friday. Oh, it's just going to come. Yeah. Friday's 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 Friday's
and he's too quick to say, I told you so. Now could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Um, Sissy. Um, on Saturday night when we did the task, um, the way she was sort of be acting, almost like feeling sorry for herself. <gasps> that sounds horrible, I don't mean it like that, but um, Ray hadn't, has never been in the, um, the treat room, whatever you want to call it. Ray's never been in there. Myself and sister were in the week before, so I just thought, well, you know, you win some and you lose some, and I just thought that she didn't take it very well. I think she could have taken it in a much more adult manner. Oh, no, that's not very nice. I watch it when I get out. Within the yeah. first few days of getting out, I watch it. Okay, my first nomination is going to be John. I think everyone should be heard and sometimes he's heard a bit a bit too often and it's like we feel that we have to do his way. My second nomination <clears throat> is um, going to be Sissy. It's always sort of other people that, that are wrong rather than oh my god that is just so bad. Um, yeah. So John and Sissy is that enough? Please. Tanya, can you please give an example? An example was um, Sissy's maybe behaviour. Oh my God, behaviour! That is just so wrong. Um, uh, the way the way she was, the aura around her for the past two days, and it was because um, another housemate had said something but she had just taken it in the completely wrong way and, and rather than maybe of dealing with it there and then you know she kind of put you know she gave the whole group an atmosphere because there's only 10 of us and you know we, we did realize that there was something wrong finally can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate two people i've chosen to nominate is john and sissy thank you tanya thank you Who goes? You decide. To evict Federico, call 090-11-214403. To evict John, call 090-11-214405. To evict Sissy, call 090-11-214410. Or text vote, followed by the name of the housemate you want to evict. 854 double four.